What's up guys? Happy Valentine's Day or belated Valentine's Day to everybody who's watching this at the time of this recording. In the background you see my girlfriend got me these beautiful post-it notes with the, in the shape of a f heart. Huh? And I got these new Beat earphones. Dr. Dre. So now I can have the ultimate sound quality. Today guys we're going to be talking about the resume. When most of us think about resume, what do we think about? I pulled it up right here on Google. We have the paper resume. It's our high school. It's our college. It's our jobs. It's where we've been fired. And if you're smart, you probably lied on your resume, right? Uh, if anyone watches Friends, Joey, you know, he speaks every language you could think of. He uh, can tap dance. He can kickbox. He can karate. He can do everything. But what we're going to be talking about is the life resume and how... Well, you can't lie because if someone asks you to do it, you better be able to do it. We're going to be talking about building our resume. We're going to be talking about the power of adding traits, having special tools, having things that we can do better than other people and things that people may not realize that they can do, but they need to start ad adding it to their life resume to you make yourself more money. So let's talk about it. I don't want to mess up my hair too much, so am I got these on right? We look all right. We looking fly. We looking dapper. All right, moving on, moving forward. The life resume. And I got so inspired to make today's video because of what I'm going to show you today. Now, I know I always reference back to movies because that's, that's my inspiration, man. That's how I stay fired up, motivated, and passionate, brand new way more than ever before is movies. So if you didn't see my review for Kingsman, The Secret Service, check out any of my channels or check out ChasingCinema.com. Uh, my partner, Jake Toronto, he manages and runs that website. He's the founder of that website. And you can see that... I absolutely loved Kingsman, The Secret Service. This movie, and from what we saw from from what we saw from uh, the box office, thirty million dollars opening weekend. Holla, we're not too bad. But wh why why am I referencing Kingsman? Well, I got so inspired by this movie because um, we're gonna move. I'm gonna leave this in the link below. If this is the first time you're watching a James Shoe video. Anything I talk about online is going to be referenced in the description box, links below. But so as I watch this movie trailer, Samuel Jackson, this girl right here, look at this girl, no legs, blade legs, and she's doing her thing. And so when I watched this movie with her, the blade leg girl, I was like, I got blown away. She was Bamfy. She was B.A. This girl, for me, stole the movie. I was like, this girl is so awesome. There's nothing not to like about this girl. So then once I like something, you know, I got to research it. I got to do my due diligence, depending on where you're from. Maybe some of us call it stalking. Some of us call it research. I just call it she blew my head off and I had to know everything there was to know about this girl because I thought she was that bad. And so, you know, a lot of people, when they watch something or they see someone of success they automatically say oh that person got lucky uh what what did this girl just try out for the movie and now she's gonna be a worldwide famous person that's what a lot of people think but that's because we don't look at her life resume and that's what we're gonna be talking about today is building our life resume you can look at this girl and say well she got lucky she was in this movie and she got casted and now she's probably gonna blow up and then once you start doing that, your due diligence, man, and once you start doing your life resume, once you start finding out about other people's life, life resumes, you realize, nope, she wasn't lucky. She's done her time. So her, her real name is Sofia Botella. Botella. Forgive me. I'm embarrassing myself, but it's like Sofia Botella. Um, links below for your Googling. And then, you know, I'm a big fan of Wikipedia. No, we're not there yet. So here's her Twitter page, her official Sophia Botella Twitter page verified by Twitter 20,000 followers so she was already kind of big right and then you know we got to do the Instagram because everybody loves photos now I, I was reading that every minute today in the year 2015 we take more photos every minute than we did the entire year, the entire decade of the 19th century from 1900s, like the 19, 1900 or something. It's something crazy. I should have actually researched that statistic so I could have sound smarter. But anyway, that's that's what this is, is I just go off the dome and I don't pre plug. I don't pre plan any of this. All right, moving on. So 
her wiki page. This girl killing the game. She's my age, 32 years old. She's an 82, 82 er so that's why she's even more awesome. She's about 100 days older than I am. And if you look at her life resume, she ain't playing games, man. So my first impression was of her was Kingsman the Secret Service. And then once you check out someone's wiki page, you're like, dang, man. She's nowhere. She's nowhere. Oh, I got lucky. She's been doing her thing. Uh, she's noted in films such as Street Dance Part 2. Never heard of it. Monsters. Dark Continent, never heard of it. And then the one I met her from, Kingsman, The Secret Service. But that's what I'm talking about when it comes to your life resume. You keep on building and building and building and building and building. So all of, our, all, of our, all of us entrepreneurs watching this video, remember, what you're doing today, you're just building on your life resume for the next, for the next, for the next, for the next, for the next. I've been in marketing now for 14 years. People, some people think I'm kind of smart. Some people think I'm an idiot. But the ones that think I'm kind of smart, you know, they look at me and they say, "Oh, you know, you have your book, but you really got to look back from the beginning when I first got, first started in marketing, not making any money, being in Starbucks all day, not making any money, doing meetings, not making any money." Versus now, we're able to talk to people and people uh, ask us for marketing advice and so on and so forth. But anyway, that's my whole point is those you build your life resume, not your paper resume. So Sophia Boltella, killing the game. Right here, you could just see what music videos has she been in. She's been in the uh, Jamiroquai. If you don't know about Jamiroquai, then you're not an 82 tour or you're not anywhere near my time frame. You're probably younger and you're like, you're an old man, James. Anyway. Uh, Body Rockers, uh, Axwell, Madonna, two Madonna videos, a Rihanna, a Chris Brown, Matt, yeah, can't even pronounce it, three Madonna videos, Usher, uh, Beat Franks, not familiar, uh, two Neo videos, a Michael Jackson video, and Take That. So that's just her, her, her music video she's been in. So again, these are all videos she's had been in before the movie came out, but that's the thing, I, what I'm trying to say is, don't think that when you look at famous people that, oh, they're lucky because they just got famous off this one thing. You really got to dive in deep and look at their life resume. What have they done up to this point to lead them up to the point we're seeing? So retrospect, Kingsman, Secret Service, James Shue in the movie theater, watching her, loving every scene she's in, in, feeling she's still in the movie. And then when you really dive in deep into it, she's done her time. If you've been to Mobilizing People Live, if you don't even know what Mobilizing People Live is, my book, Mobilizing People, I talk about mindset. And one of the things we talk about is Cinderella's story, how Cinderella um, cleaning the floors, glass slipper, bam, she's rich. Or she meets the lover of a life and happy ending. And how real life isn't like that. And how things take time. And things aren't going to happen just for us. We're not just going to be rich and famous like good Charlotte lifestyles of the rich and famous lifestyles. It's not going to be like that. And how you have to build your resume or in this sense, your life resume. And this girl, man, she's done her time. I mean, come on, Madonna, Chris Brown, Usher, Neo, Michael Jackson. Even if you don't like any of those artists that I talked about, it's not deniable that these are big time artists and she's done her time. And then here's her appearances in film. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just on here for film ten that that are writing down, which there could be more commercials. Uh, she's actually now that I've researched her, she's known as the Nike girl, and it's crazy because I am a huge fanatic of Nike brand Jordan, Michael Jordan, and I mean I could lie right now, saying maybe I I remember her being in one of the videos. I just but I don't. I'm not gonna lie about it, but. Nike commercials alone, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 Nike commercials killing the game. Live performance and tools. She was she went on. Oh, okay, no wonder why Madonna loves her. She had Madonna had her in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Five of her European tours. Oh, uh, so she been killing the game. She was in the uh, the Super Bowl halftime uh, show. Uh, this girl was. Oh, she killing the game. I'm loving this girl. Killing the game. Uh, she was a judge for Nike beyond comparison. Holy moly. Look at all this Nike stuff she's been doing. And then the magazines that she's been uh, photographered in. Photographered in? Is that photoed in? Doesn't even matter. Look at all this stuff. That anyway, th my whole point of this is look at, her, look at her life resume. So if you want to get paid the big bucks, I don't know how much she got paid for being in Kingsman. I would assume seven-figure income. I would assume, even if I'm wrong and I overhyped it by half a million dollars to be in a movie, hey, killing the game. 
And that's what it's about, isn't it? It's building your life resume so you're worth more. Not because money's so important to you, but it's like you're building your life resume so you can demand the money that you deserve to do with the money what you're really going to do, which is what, at the end of the day, I think everyone would agree that we have a lot of money to do what? Take care of our friends and family. If your friends and family is only yourself, then take care of yourself. And if you have moms, dads, aunts, uncles, brothers, sisters, grandma, grandma, boyfriend, girlfriends, husband, wives that you want to take care of, then let's take care of them too. FYI, by the way, just so you know. Now, you know, there's no motivation and we could talk about life resumes, but there's nothing better than showing off her resume. So let's check it out. Her YouTube, um, YouTube, uh, Google search, uh, in links below, endless pages of just, to be honest with you, just her dancing and doing awesome things, which is cool. The next link I'm going to leave below is the most amazing female dancer. And I, I, I'm not going to lie, man. When I saw Kingsman and we were uploading the video, I was just online researching her. I watched probably an hour's worth of just her dancing and just her repertoire, if I could say, her resume, just everything she's done. And that's what it is, though. It's like if you want to do something, don't think about it. Don't wait on it. Just start right now. Stop waiting. Stop being a waiter. If you want to be a waiter, then get a job at a restaurant. But if you want to be an entrepreneur and you want to do something and you have this talent that you want to show off, if it's dancing, if it's modeling, if it's an entrepreneur and you want to own your own business, stop waiting. Just start doing right now, right here, right now, more than before. Now's time and place. Okay, so you can check out her dancing. If she's a dancer in, in this scenario, this person I'm talking about is a dancer, then dance. Start recording yourself. Start doing things. Don't stop talking about it. Just do it. And here's the, I guess this movie is from a movie called Street Dance 2 or something. I, I might have got that wrong. I apologize now. I've never seen the movie. But that's not even the point, man. Look, I mean, look at it right here. Epic, man. And then here's the Channing Tatum type of guy because I assume this is like a their version of Step Up, if you will. And a lot of people forget that was Channing Tatum in Step Up Part 1. Just saying. Uh, and now look. And oh, you know what? I'm just going to go on another tangent. That's what I'm talking about, though. A lot of people forget Channing Tatum was a stripper. When he first got into the game, after stripping, he got step up. He was still just going to be this just, oh, he's a really good dancer with really min minimal acting skills. And now, Foxcatcher, if you didn't see Foxcatcher, now no one even clowns Channing Tatum. Everyone's like, oh, no, he has gone from a stripper dancer to, yeah, potentially people were saying that he was going to get nominated for an Oscar. Now, granted, did he get nominated for an Oscar? No, he didn't for Foxcatcher with Steve Carell. Steve Carell did, though. But the point is, you're not even going to be in a movie with Steve Carell, who is Oscar nominated. We're going to find out this Sunday if he wins. The point of what I'm saying is, though, is you went from literally he was stripping at strip clubs to now he's being in movies with Oscar caliber actors. And a lot of people felt... Um, Obviously not enough, but a lot of people did feel that he should have been nominated for an Oscar. So that gives you an idea about life resume from Channing Tatum, where you are to where you want to go. So wherever you're at right now in your life, wherever that is, you got to know that the end game in mind, ABC, XYZ, that all can be made up right now by building your life resume. But you got to know that you can do it. You got to know that you have what it takes to be successful, but you just got to start. Stop thinking about it. Stop waiting. Freaking do it. So here she is. I mean, look at her, expert dancer. And if you're not a dancer and you want to be a public speaker, then start public speaking. If you have an idea of a business that you want to start and you don't have the capital, capital, that's okay. Start, put the business plan together, find people, talk to people, share with people what you want to do. In this scenario, if you want to be a dancer, then all I need you to be doing is dancing. If that's what you do, you know, if you want to be the greatest dancer, are you dancing three, four, five hours a day? to improve your craft, to be the best of what you do in order to have the resume that this girl has. Killing the game. Look at this. How can you not like this? I'm just saying. You don't even got to like dancing to appreciate what this girl is doing, man. Killing it. And then, hey, the king of pop, Michael Jackson. You know, if you don't know who that is, then I guess your king of pop is Justin Timberlake, which is fine because he's an awesome role model. But... She's in this video too, the Michael Jackson video. Right there, there she is. Sophia dancing, killing the game, man. Bamfy. Woo! Love it. So check that out, links below. And then I had to share this because this is why I got motivated from her was Kingsman. Uh, this is the featurette. Again, 
this is where you're gonna meet Giselle, which is her character. Sophia plays Giselle. She has no legs. She has blade legs. She is deadly. She is, gosh, man. On on a serious note, she's one of my favorite uh, world, the world's deadliest sidekick. One of my favorite um, assistants, bad people, uh, a killing machine. She is just absolutely fan freaking tastic. Right here, look at this. And, then, and you know what's cool too? Right here, the blade scene right here. Bam! Oh, so good. And one of the reasons why I think I fell in love with this character was at the end, the final battle scene between our, the good guy and the bad guy. She's the bad person. She's doing air flares. And again, I didn't know anything about her. But now that I know who she is, yeah, she did all that herself. She did the air flares uh, with the windmills, with the blade legs. And it just... For me, it stole the movie because the movie was fantastic. But one of the reasons why it was fantastic was because this character is literally doing air flares with blade legs. And um, yeah, she was just awesome. She, I thought she was fantastic. So watch this featurette. But hey, if you're watching this video right now, meaning I guess sometime of, of the time of this filming, watch this movie because this movie is fantastic. And the movie, too, is about this guy who goes from something to nothing. Uh, nothing from something. And I love that type of stuff. So, Giselle. Fantastic. 20th Century Fox, my hat's off to you, even though I don't wear hats. But this movie was fantastic, and she was one of the reasons why. Uh, moving on, moving forward very quickly. Here's an interview with her uh, from some f show in France. And unless you speak French, you're not going to understand a lick of what they're saying. But that is kind of what my point is, that these people that we look at and we say they got lucky, they did this, they did that, 95% of the time, it didn't just happen for them. They put their time in and they understand it wasn't a Cinderella story and this is just the perfect example because in this, I did my research on her and I was like, you know, she got lucky because she just, you know, she's in a Hollywood movie. Unless I did my research on her, I would have thought that, but nope. She has done her time, Nike, Madonna, Neo, Michael Jackson, uh, she's been dancing. Um, how long has she been dancing? Let's let's go back to her her Wikipedia, if you will. Uh, she's been dancing according to her Wikipedia since. Again, she's a hundred days older than I am. She's thirty two. She started her classical dance education at the age of five. At the age of five, and at the age of ten, in nineteen ninety two, she left Algeria with her family, moved to France. And she started rhythmic gymnastics. And then at the age of 18, she was on the national team for the Olympics. I mean, come on, man. That's what I'm trying to say, though. So whatever age you're at right now, if you're like, it's too late, that's all lies and BS you're telling yourself. I'm telling you, it doesn't matter. Start now. Everybody always says, we're behind. We're behind. It's like your Kirk Cameron from Left Behind. You ain't that, man. If you're not behind. Start today. Whatever that is. If it's making money, if it's working on your craft, if it's doing this, if it's doing that. I don't. You want to be the world's greatest chef and you're already 32 years old? You can still be the world's greatest chef. Now, am I saying that you have an uphill climb because there are people who've been cooking since they've been five? Yes. If you want to be the world's greatest dancer and you're 32 already, am I saying that your body isn't going to be as lucky as an 18-year-old? Yeah, I agree with that. But start now. Don't wait. Start your life resume today. Start building your life resume today. All right. So check it. Read the Wikipedia, man. I don't leave this stuff just for entertainment. Anyway, so I wanted to go on the next. We've all seen it, but I had to do it. Sai, Gundam style, South Korean megastar. This is such a good example that he's been having albums. He's been a, I'm not going to say a superstar, but he's been a musician in Korea. But that one hit, man, that one hit that launched him into superstardom was Gundam Style. And so this is his YouTube video. If you don't know what Psy Gundam Style is, holy moly like for real you don't or you're just saying you don't and you really do because you don't want to admit it i think everyone in the world has heard gundam style uh 2.2 billion views 2 billion 245 million 650 thousand 946 views if i push reflect uh re reflect well let's reflect and refresh one more view for me 9 million likes 1 million dislikes 5.3 Five million three hundred fifty nine hundred ninety six thousand comments. Absolutely ridiculous. The number one most viewed 
single video of all time on YouTube, Psy Gundam style, not even speaking English. Most of the people, I would probably be willing to say 99% of the video who, people who watched this video didn't even understand one word of what he was saying that was in Korean because they don't speak Korean. But that's the beautiful part about success. It translates in all languages. Now, this guy got me jacked up. Again, I don't, I'm not Korean. I don't understand a word of what he's saying, but awesome, right? And then let me uh, go to his wiki page. So you guys can understand for the haters out there that drink in the hater aid, as James Franco said in the interview, haters gonna hate and ainers gonna ain't. What that means, I don't know. But haters gonna hate. So for the haters that say, you know, James, you're making a good point, building a life resume, but the truth is, Cy was just a one hit wonder. And I'm not gonna disagree with you. For a worldwide superstar the way it is, I don't know if, let me rephrase that. He's probably, and nobody will ever have a hit as big as this was for the YouTube community. Two billion views is absolutely insane in the membrane if you get my drift. However, if you're wondering, well, so that sucks then, right? Well, let's, let's look at it, how, how much it sucks. If he never has another hit ever again, let me explain to you how much it sucks for him. According to Korean Times in 2013, right now of me recording this is 2015, if you're uh, wondering, FYI, February, by the way, Valentine's Day. Me and my lady. Anyway, uh, Cy earned more than 40 million USD. USD, United States dollar. In 2012, uh, through concerts, TV promotions, social media, Gundam style, blah, blah, blah. In 2012, he earned 28 million. Think about that. So in those two years, he made, what is that, 60, $68 million dollars. If half that goes to the tax and he's not an idiot, that's $30 million. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but $30 million sitting in the bank is enough money. Now, here's the beautiful part. He doesn't ever have to be at the level he was at, and he'll always be fine. He will always have concerts, small concerts. And when I say small, I'm talking about small compared to what he was doing at Gundam style, performing in front of 100,000 people at a time. Absolutely killing the game, right? So that's what I'm trying to say, though, is if you work on your craft long enough, and in this scenario, Sophia, in this scenario, Sai, work on your craft, your time will come, right? Sophia is going to go down in the record books as one of the greatest dancers. And, uh, and if I had to assume it, I could be totally off base and totally wrong, but she's going to make well enough money to live comfortably to be able to do what she loves versus doing a lot of people want to do certain things, but they don't actually get paid to do it right? She's going to be fine, right? And she's not going to be able to dance forever. But then after dancing, the career is done, then she's going to be able to go into nowadays, we have reality shows. Nowadays, she's going to, she can become a teacher. Now she can be, she can be hired by the big corporate companies to find the next big dancers because she has the eye for that. Uh, in the terms of Psy, he's always going to be able to do concerts. He's, I'm assuming if he already isn't a producer, he's going to be a producer for the next younger people, half his age, going out in, in the Korea K-pop uh, trying to do their thing and they need someone to bankroll. He has money now. He has office now. He has street cred. He has clout, right? And that's what I'm talking about. Isn't a life resume just clout? Isn't a life resume just building your clout rating, right? So as you go out there and you achieve more and you do more, your clout doing dong, 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 dong. It's like Mario. You want your little Mario. You get the mushroom, dong, 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 right? Then you want the, the, the flower so you can get the fireballs, right? That's not the sound effect for flower, but you get my drift. And then you want the takuni suit, right? You want to turn into the statue. You want to turn into the raccoon and fly off, right? You want, you want um, Super Mario 3D World. I'm getting off base, but you get my drift. You want to raise your clout. You want to get more and more items to be more powerful, right? And then in real life, that is the life game. That is to make more money, right? That is to be able to achieve more, is building your clout, building your life resume, building more and more things that you do to be able to get you more of what you want. And for you, that may be taking care of your mom, taking care of your dad, taking care of yourself, retiring your mom, dad, aunt, uncle, brother, sister, grandma, grandpa, boyfriend, grandpa, grandpa, husband, wife, right? Whoever that may be, right? Buying nice things for yourself that are gonna make you feel good, eating better food, eating uh, nice food. And if none of that appeals to you, make that money and donate it all to whoever you wanna donate it to. My whole point though is life resume. Building your life resume and giving yourself more traits, right? You don't think that you have to just be stuck with what you're doing. Build yourself. Give yourself more armor. Give yourself more tools. Give yourself more of these traits. Raise your cloud score so you can be the next 
girl that's in Kingsman where you look at, wow, she's in a Hollywood movie. Nah, man, she's been in the game for 15, or I guess since five. So she's 32, and she started dancing when she was five. So it took her to raise her clout. Sorry. Uh, 27 years. Let me say that again. She's been doing this for 27 years, technically. And she's now in a Hollywood film at this level of Kingsman. So I guess the kind of question is, have you been doing your craft for 27 years? And if you haven't, what do we have to complain about? Keep on building. Keep on working on yourself. And as you saw from her resume, it, I'm just talking about Kingsman, man. If you look at all her resumes, she's been on tour. She's been dancing. She's been doing the things she loves. So you need to ask yourself the things that you love. What is that? Hey, and go after it. And if it's part-time, put it an hour a day, two hours a day, three hours a day. You want to be buff? Then let's freaking work on being buff. You want to be the next model? Then let's freaking work on being the next model. You want to be the next greatest singer? Then let's freaking be in the studio. I can't afford a studio. Then let's start working on our voice, our pitch. Let's start recording ourselves on crappy um, iPhones and put it onto YouTube. Because here's the truth. The recording stuff, how, you, how your sound may sound crappy. The quality of the video might be crappy. But if it's someone who has clout, like a Psy, and hears you, they can tell, hey, if this person was in a studio, this person is marketable and this person can make money, right? Justin Bieber is a great example of that. Not the greatest singer in the world. I don't even think Justin Bieber would get offended by that. He's not the greatest singer in the world. You don't need that. You just need your Scooter Braun to look at you and say, wow, you know what? This kid put this video online. He's, the tone is there. He's good looking. I can market this guy. And that's really what it's about, right? It's putting your work out there, right? So when that person finally does see you, hey, if you could be a Justin Bieber and be young and go out there and now you can be a multimillionaire by putting the right time in, that's awesome. But that doesn't happen for everybody versus Sophia and Sai be in the game. Just be in the game. Every day, work on your craft. Every day, work on your tools. Every day, build that resume. So when the time comes, mind blown, you're hit. So that's what I want to share with you guys today. And you know I couldn't leave it out without saying it. I'm sorry. It's a plug. Mobilizing people. It goes over everything I talked about today, but it's in book form. If you like books, you're going to love this book. If you don't like books, well, don't get it because you're not going to like books because... It is a book, right? So all the links that we talked about, description box below. And the comment, I mean, the, the question of the day is, what are you doing every day when it comes to working on yourself? I would love to hear that in the description box below. What are you working on every single day to build yourself? And until that next episode, guys, you guys are beautiful. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks for viewing, guys. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, leave comments below, and subscribe to our channel. And if you can't get enough James Shoe, don't worry, there's always more. In the boxes below, from left to right, on the left, it's the Adventures of Superman, where all my awesome friends have their fabulous businesses here in Las Vegas and all over the United States, and we feature them on the Adventures of Superman. In the box in the middle, it's our vlog, where we show the behind the scenes of how MPM VSM and the Adventures of Superman work and how it all comes together. And on the far right of the box, mobilizing people. If you need daily motivation, inspiration, ambition, we go over all the basic fundamentals of everything I've learned in that channel, Mobilizing People. Subscribe to all of them, and I'll see everybody soon. Thanks.